Thanks again for joining me on Ponderosa North for the love of Bonanza. Well, it's a it's another edition of Bonanza Bits. I've got so many little stuff to show you that I can't make a whole show out of. So I have a lot of random things here today. The first thing is a bit of show and tell. I got this hat in Virginia City, and I I noticed that the 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 hat ban actually is stamped Virginia City. How cool is that? I tried to find something as Adam as I possibly could. This is all they had. So that's kind of fun. So a lot of, like I said, a lot of random stuff here today, um, like this of Dan uh, judging a baby contest. Who better <laughs> than to judge a baby contest? I've talked a lot about Alex Sharp. Uh, he's written so many popular episodes like Ponderosa Matador and Hey Binner. Well, here he is. This is Alex Sharp, former cowboy and amazing writer. Um, here's another kind of random but fun thing. This is Michael Landon's driver's license. But look at his driver's license picture. I mean, we, if, how, if only we could all, you know, take a picture like he did. He never looked bad in any picture ever taken of him. This is from the Lauren Green collection. Um, it's a belt buckle. I th it was sold uh, a while ago. I think his family was selling some stuff off. But in the middle there is a, is a $20 gold piece. That's kind of nice. I thought. This is the Cartwright coat of arms and Cartwright is British and it means maker of carts. Of course it does. What else? Um, recording. The guys recorded a lot. Um, uh, Dan recorded this album um, for the youngins and um, of course the party album, the Ponderosa party album. They looked like they had quite a bit of fun recording this album. There's lots of pictures here of them recording the album. Yeah, look at Brunel, he's just, they're having fun. And very demonstrative with one another. Very, uh, very seemingly affectionate, uh, uh, affection for one another. Um, here's Brunel with a beautiful guitar. Not sure what it is. I'm sure some guitar expert can tell me. And of course these two, very loving to one another. Mike and, and Lorne. Again, see, they're, they're very... They're very touchy-feely, very nice. Lots of smiles, lots of laughter, so it was probably a good time. Still lots of work for these guys over and above their filming schedule. But yeah, it looks like they had a good time and it's a very good album. So on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, two of the cast members have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, Lorne got his and Michael, of course got his in, uh, I'm not sure when it was, probably in the 80s or something. I visited it. I visited it when I was, uh, when I was there in Los Angeles, um, I guess in the 90s. Uh, I always comment on how strong Michael Landon is. Uh, and this is, <laughs> I mean, come on. The guy had the strength of, of uh, Hercules and that's why he liked his hair long. He kind of, no, it wasn't Hercules, it was uh, Samson, Samson and Delilah. Yeah, he believed that long hair gave him strength. That's why he liked to wear his hair long, but quite a difference uh, from the beginning. He really, really built himself up, and I really admire him for that because that takes real dedication and uh, hard work to do that. Uh, Purnell, he used to go, he's from Georgia, way across Georgia. He used to go back to Georgia quite often. Uh, here he is with his mom. His mom said she missed him so much when he was in his career uh, that she plastered her house with pictures of him. This was at a uh, 2000, um, not sure, 2001 reunion. I'm going to put a link below because he, he gives quite a nice speech at this family reunion. So he's there with his, um, his aunties. He went home quite a bit um, to see mom, which was very nice. I mean, don't forget your moms, everybody. Uh, here he is again, very loving relationship with his mother. See the pictures on the wall in the background there. There's also a memorial in uh, Waycross, Georgia, which was purchased by the fans, which is very nice. And um, there was a, um, a proclamation from the mayor uh, for that memorial for him. But he used to go back even during Bonanza times. Uh, he'd go to schools and, you know, things like that. Again, back to the fans and things. Uh, here he is with his... His parents and his son there. Um, it's kind of bitmap, but that's a better picture of he and his father and his mother. 
Elvin, Pernell Elvin Sr. Um, so yeah, and the only thing I'm going to uh, finish off with is back to the crucible. Uh, I found this article, which is very interesting, uh, about Lee Marvin and the crucible. Now, Lee Marvin at the time of Bonanza was getting a million dollars a picture. And the um, guest stars on Bonanza were getting top dollar, which was $10,000 per, um, per appearance. And um, when the uh, script of The Crucible came along, um, David Dortort really wanted someone uh, substantial uh, to play Peter Kane. And um, he called Lee Marvin, who, who owed him a favor. And uh, he had helped him with the script earlier in his career before he became Lee Marvin. And um, he, Lee Marvin said, thank you very much, David. I owe you one. So when The Crucible came along, um, he, he, called, he called Lee Marvin. And this was the conversation that they had. Lee's fir first reaction was a question. How much would you pay me if I did it? Uh, and David said, nothing but the top of the show. Uh, and Lee Marvin said, what's that? And uh, where Lee Marvin, la uh, Dave David said $10,000. Um, whereupon Lee laughed outright and said, you're offering me $10,000 when I get 1 million or more to do a, a movie? And David said, remember when you said you owed me one? And there was a pause. And then Lee said, as a gentleman, he said, all right, I'll do it because I, I do what I say. So, but what's interesting too is um, Lee Marvin told the producer, David Dortort, that he would eat Pernell Roberts alive. <laughs> wow. In the crucible. But instead, um, Roberts' uh, expression, this expression here, during filming, um, uh, uh, is more akin to uh, the cat who ate the canary. Roberts turned in what is arguably his finest bonanza performance as Adam Cartwright. Uh, core beliefs and personality are put to the test by madman Peter Kane. So very interesting um, that Lee Marvin uh, thought he would eat Pernell Roberts alive, but they turned out to be uh, very good uh, opponents. And it's a very good episode. If you haven't seen it yet, see The Crucible. Uh, that's it for this edition of Bonanza Bits. See you next time on Ponderosa North for the love of Bonanza.